Hello and thank you for joining gapsfix.com. Fix your Google Apps today. This is Goldie again and in today's lesson we will cover how to create Amex records at GoDaddy and point them to Google Apps to start using Google Apps messaging service. So what's our agenda for today? In next 5 minutes we will cover understanding of Amex records, what are they and how do they work? system requirements for us to set up MX Rackets, live demonstration where we will be setting up MX Rackets at GoDaddy and point them to Google Apps, and at last we will put light on some recommended next steps which you should take once you are done with MX Racket pointing. So what are MX Rackets and what they do? MX Racket is a type of record in your DNS system which defines or rather dictates a mail server which is responsible for accepting emails for that specific domain. In case if you have just one MX record pointing to one specific email server and if that mail server goes down you will be losing all your emails and that is the reason it's recommended to put more than one MX record to ensure we can achieve load balancing and avoid any single point of failure. Amex records work as per their priority defined in the DNS system. It starts with the lowest one and goes to highest one if required. So if I have three Amex records with the priority of 10, 20 and 30 pointing to different mail servers will try the first one which is with the priority of 10 initially and if that mail server is down it will go to the next one which is 20 priority and 30 and so on. So what is the system requirement for setting up MX record? You should have access to your DNS control panel, you should have access to Google Apps control panel, and obviously 5 minutes to watch this video. So let us now set up Google Apps MX Rackets at your GoDaddy domain. To set up MX Rackets, we will log into our Google Apps admin console. So if you don't know how to do that, you are recommended to watch our other tutorials to understand your login options with Google Apps. Once you're at admin console, you will see a link which says direct email to Google Apps Mail. Either you can click on this one or simply go to setup tab in the navigation bar and then click on Gmail and then set up Gmail and Google will give you MX records or the mail server addresses where you need to point your MX records. So we will copy all these five mail server addresses and point them to our MX records. So in the GoDaddy control panel, I'm going to click on my account and then click on domains. I'll go to my specific domain, gfscollege.com. I'm going to launch it and then I'll be opening a DNS manager here. In the DNS manager, I'll scroll down a bit to find the space of adding MX records. Here it is. I already have a couple of MX records and uh, these are the default ones by GoDaddy. So either we can replace them or we can simply delete them. Okay, so let me replace this one. Priority would be 10. House name would be at the rate. And we are going to replace this MX records pointing with Google One. So I'm going to copy the first one. Copy, go back and paste it. That's the first one. Now let's add the second one. Priority would be 20. Host name at the rate and value or mail server address would be second one. So let me copy this one. Paste it here. Add a third one with the priority 30 and at the rate most value will be pointing to this third mail server copy this 
get back to good ready paste it another one go back to good ready okay copy this value and paste it here and the last one priority to 50 and the weight copy the server name and point it to you can give your own priority but it's recommended to make it this and I'll save file press ok press ok you need to make sure the lowest priority is pointing to Google so I have 10 20 30 40 and 50 pointing all to Google so you need to make sure uh, if you have your the lowest one 10 pointing to Google there shouldn't be any 5 0 or 9 pointing to some other server else you will not be able to direct your emails through Google once you're done with the changes go back to your Google Apps admin console and click on next click on next yes I have changed MX of gapscollege.com next and now Google will take some time in verifying my Amex records pointing to them. So I'm going to pause this video here and we'll get back after some time when these Amex changes will reflect. Congratulations, after a couple of hours, now our Amex records have been set up and verified. So now we can start getting emails in our Google Apps mailboxes. Thank you for joining in.